what is up everybody welcome to the Malguli channel um this is a video that i should have done a long time ago when this news started breaking out about aew and my thoughts about it and what i would love to see well let's start off can't go into it without talking about the history for it first so hmm Let's just say we have one journalist to thank for this. One journalist. And that journalist being Dave Meltzer. Jesus Christ, Dave Meltzer. Okay. Dave Meltzer, you know, I think we all know who Dave Meltzer is. The journalist, you know, the wrestling observer. The, the, the less said about Dave Meltzer, the better. Um, it's come up and made a comment about Ring of Honor saying that it cannot sell out 10,000 tickets for a press, for a professional wrestling event. And that comment got a response from Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks. And they, you know, of course our good friends, plus the Bullet Club, now later called the Elite, you know, they promoted and held like this, in, held the independent wrestling, as we all know, a wrestling event called All In, which was very successful. And <laughs> I got to say, it was so successful to the fact that I believe um, I think 11,263 people showed up for this show. The event was so damn huge that here in America, organization by promoters that's not affiliated with WWE or WCW since 1993. This event was so damn successful that they're doing another, which is called um, Double or Nothing. And I believe that show will definitely be successful. If All In was successful, this one would definitely be successful. And that would be on May 25th, 2019 of this year. But with that being said, with the history of this, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks have expanded their inventions and created created this wrestling promotion AEW so now you have that but there's also you also what really does it for this it's its owner the owner uh Shahid Khan but I'm gonna call him Shad Khan because that sounds more badass Shad Khan who is the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars a billionaire Keep that in mind. A billionaire is investing this. And also, he's letting his son, who is the going to be the president of this, Tony Khan. And now you have Cody Rhodes, the VP, executive VP. Nick Jackson, VP. Well, the, the Young Bucks are VPs. And Brandy Rose, the chief branding officer for this promotion. Personally, when I first saw it, at first, I, 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 had, I didn't... I had hopes for it because if All In was successful, I believe they could do it again and make it more successful for what they have now. And also, with that being said, low key, like they have, um, I know they, what was it? Um, they announced that Brandy was the chief branding officer for January 2013 of this year, 2019. Sorry, tw January 3rd, 2019, this year. I'm sorry. And on the Eighth, they held a press conference, a new press conference on TIA Bankfield, where they announced talents that will be in this promotion. I can name a few. You have Christopher Daniels, Frank Kazarian, Hangman Adam Page, Joey, the bad boy Joey Janela, the Young Bucks, of course, MJF, Pac, aka known as <laughs> a. Pac, you know, as Neville, Scorpio Sky, and now you have female wrestlers like Dr. Brittany, Baker, Penelope, the bad girl Penelope Ford, and B. Presley, if I got that one right. And also backstage personnel, you have producers like B.J. Whitman, J J Jeff Jones, ECW fans will definitely know who Jeff Jones is, and the one Billy Gunn, producers of this for backstage personnel. This has the potential guys to be huge personally 
I want this this brand to succeed. It's about time that WWE, you know, um, it's about time we had another wrestling company that compete with WWE. Hopefully, they can compete with WWE with great story. Also, you need veterans. And speaking of veterans, Chris Jericho is a part of this as well. Shoot, um, his contract, they gave him more money than what WWE was paying paying him. There's also a possibility that Dean Ambrose, Dean Ambrose could come. Hideo Itami, you know, the, it's endless. When, when Double or Nothing comes out, it, we will see on who's going to be there. Also, Kenny Omega, you know, he might be there as well if he doesn't sign with WWE. I think his contract with um, New Japan is coming up, and of course he's leaving, and I think he is going to join AEW, and I would be happy if he did. It'd be better for him to be in AEW than being in the WWE, and that's just my opinion. Also, like for real, I want this to be, you know, a successful wrestling company. Like I said, it's about time there should be a company to to compete with WWE. So it's incredible rivalries of the Monday Night Wars. I would love to have that again. You had WCW versus WWE. And WCW was kicking WWE's ass in the past until the Attitude Era. And what caused the Attitude Era? You had Bret the Hitman Hart, Shawn Michaels, that Montreal screw job, which t t made the wheels started turning. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, Kane, Mankind, Triple H, you know, that list go on. And that's how WCW, also with bad booking decisions and whatnot, took WWE, WWE took WCW out of business and now owns WCW. But now with All Elite Wrestling, it's a possibility that you have the bill a billionaire, the cons are billionaire and have part or and part ownership group of the Jacksonville Jaguars investing their money into this. And I believe it will be successful. When Double or Nothing comes out, it will be successful. I think it's in the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And I believe tickets are going to be going to the I think there's going to be a packed house. This is what we need for wrestling. So my thoughts is Make it happen. Also, just to let you know this too, they also announced a working relationship with a Chinese professional wrestling group called OWE, Oriental Wrestling Entertainment. An organization found by CIMA, CIMA, I'm sorry. Uh, organization by CIMA, the wrestler, sorry. Don't know why I said, said that, but yeah. CIMA, the, res the wrestler, the Japanese professional wrestler, also, you know, you have that. You have, there, hopefully there's some talent. Hopefully they bring in some more bigger names. You already got Chris Jericho. And hopefully what they should do is have, you know, some of the veterans. They can put some of the young talent over and we can get stars again. So that way we can have all of a sudden what people can believe about wrestling again. Like we had in the Monday Night War. And hopefully it will be successful. Hopefully everything goes well. I hope. Um, I now I'm not going to be one of them YouTubers and say I hope it. I hope it um, was so successful that WWE will be out of business. No, 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 no. I want competition. I want to see what would happen if AEW did. You know, AEW if it decide. It, you know, if it becomes so huge that Vince has to step up his game. And have to go back to his alma mater and change the product around a little bit. But like I said, anything is possible. So I wish the best of luck to the Khan family. I wish best of luck to Cody and Brandy. Also the the Young Bucks. I wish them all the best of luck with this. Hopefully this could, you know, be a very successful company. Because, like, I mean, like, remember Impact Wrestling was so big back in, what, 2000? It was, like, that company, you know, 2000. Um, I started watching Impact around, like, 2004. And then 2004, 2005, 2006, it was so big. But then, of course, Impact had its shares. And then it had a chance. And then it just, 
you know that they're still around impact wrestling is still around but i'm just saying they used to be so like we thought impact wrestling was going to be the ones to compete with WWE, but look where that turned out now look at them now i mean impact is it's gotten better since the new direction changed but you know it's too little personally too little too late to compete with wwe i still believe that impact wrestling will still be around especially now you have raven and um tommy dreamer writing now but not to get off topic here all elite wrestling plus there's still some more names yet to come we could see a lot from the following coming like mlw uh defy wrestling combat zone wrestling Hell, even some guys from WWE could come over here, can come over here and be a part of this. They already got Jericho. They already got Neville. And hopefully we'll just wait and see what happens down the road until May 25th of 2019 this year. So with that being said, guys, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about AEW will it be successful can it compete with WWE can we finally get a company that can compete with Vince McMahon let me know and also if you're new to this channel please like please like comment and share and also hit that bell so that way you will never miss a video from me and I will catch you all again next time until then this is Mal Gooley God bless you all and be safe, take care of yourself, and I will catch you all again next time.